So we just got good news. The Standard Range Plus is getting audio features for free. What's up everybody? Yo, yo, Welcome yo, to yo, another yo, episode yo, of Tesla yo, Canadian Dad. Yo, yo. We're in Vegas today. Yo. Far away from the Tesla. But we'll still have a good time. What's up everybody, look what's down there. It's a nice little surprise, I just got down from the, uh, the Ferris wheel here in Vegas. And the superchargers are hiding right underneath it. So uh, I just did this to my hair. I don't know uh, how I feel about it. I've had it long hair for a while now, so uh, a little different. It's a lot lighter. I did miss my ice caps while I was gone. So, as you can see, we're uh, we're back in Ottawa here. I did uh, some extra filming, but so much was going on so fast. Um, I I needed to reshoot some stuff. Tesla finally released version ten, as I mentioned before, but it's now available. Uh, throughout North America so not only the United States but Canadians are getting it too uh, I just got home late 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 last night uh, with no update yet and I've been kind of uh, between work here I've been trying to uh, see if the update would uh, pop up on my Tesla Model 3 however it has not so I'm still waiting and uh, yes yeah, some uh, some people say turn on the wi-fi turn off the wi-fi turn on the wi-fi turn off the wi-fi and the update will potentially kick in if you have full self-driving and uh early adopter when it comes to updates so i have both those things on uh, obviously i have full self-driving and i also have the uh, software they call it software update preference advanced and uh, so I've had that advanced since day one so I'm still just waiting for this update to come out but the big news huge well for me anyways huge huge news is not this haircut which I am not in love with um, I like my long hair what can I say but uh, in Vegas is uh, flying all over the place and people telling me I should get a haircut and uh, apparently I I, uh, I fell and I lost and I uh, got the haircut but all that being said the big real news is that Spotify is in version 10 and I know a lot of you uh, potentially already know this but man is that awesome now there's also rumbling online that some Standard Range Plus users are able to use it on LTE. To me, that is even more important because I don't really see the point of having Spotify in your car if you can't use it while driving. 
if I'm only using it during supercharging and in my driveway, it's not very useful. Now I guess, I don't know if they have a download option like you have on your phone, but the fact that some Standard Range Plus users like myself are able to use Spotify while driving on LT is huge and I hope that's not just temporary like my back seat warmers. I hope this is permanent so let's uh, cross our fingers and hopefully Elon uh, doesn't uh, set us back. Now again um, I am you know well aware that uh, you will have to be potentially paying for these features down the road to keep them on an annual basis paying an annual fee of $100. I think that's fair. You know what? I think that's fair for um, maps when it comes to uh, streaming Netflix and YouTube and uh, for the American friends, Hulu, again, a uh, hundred bucks a year to have all those features seems fair to me if you're gonna be uh, using the LTE services. So hopefully, I get the update soon. So I get to play with all these new version 10 features. And uh, I even have my uh, controller here ready to go in the car, my Xbox One controller ready to go in the car for playing Cuphead. Um, so I've never actually played the whole game. Uh, I've only kind of tried it out. So I'm actually curious to see how well it runs on this, uh, this computer here inside the Tesla Model 3. So I'm saying so a lot, but that's just because I'm so excited uh, to have this new version. So hopefully Elon push push version 10 towards me please just send it my way and uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it take it for a test drive try out YouTube try out Spotify try out all the new uh, self-driving features that are also included I hear that the car just uh, drives itself even better than before uh, again here in Canada unfortunately we do not I repeat do not have smart summon available uh, we still have just regular summon here where you can move the car backwards and forward and that's about it But All the other features in version 10 including Spotify are included here in Canada. So I'm super excited to seeing that so yeah All right We'll catch you in uh, the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button and We'll see you in the next episode Bye. I'm sweaty all the way down my back. You gotta think. Mosquito wearing all that stuff. So we just got good news. The Standard Range Plus is getting audio features for free. Some good news from Vegas, baby.